Hello, and welcome to this presentation on diabetic neuropathy. My name is John Crawford. I'm an occupational therapy student at LSU's Health Sciences Center in New Orleans. Over the next few minutes, I wanna give you a brief explanation of what diabetic neuropathy is, what symptoms look like, and what you can do about it. So what is diabetic neuropathy? Well, put simply, diabetic neuropathy is when your nerves are damaged by your diabetes. As you probably already know, your nerves are what allow you to sense the world around you, as well as control your muscles. What are some common symptoms you should be on the lookout for with diabetic neuropathy? Most of the time, the first signs that your diabetes is damaging your nerves will show up in your feet. The most common symptom is decreased sensation or less sense of touch. This is often easy to miss, but it is obviously very important to be able to feel your body, especially your feet. Another symptom is pain. Neuropathic pain can take the form of tingling, burning, or throbbing, and is notable for often being worse at night. A symptom which is harder to notice is poor blood flow. For some persons with diabetes, blood has a harder time carrying nutrients and oxygen to all the parts of the body, especially the feet. This is important because it means skin can break down easier and it is harder for the body to heal from cuts and scrapes. Question for you, who can develop diabetic neuropathy? And the answer is pretty much anyone with diabetes. Whether you're a man or a woman, old or young, black or white, if you're a person with diabetes, you are at risk of developing diabetic neuropathy. In fact, studies show that up to half of people with diabetes will develop diabetic neuropathy at some point in their lives. In other words, you are not alone. There are many other people out there facing similar challenges. And here's a few you might not know are living with diabetes, including actors, musicians, and producers. What can happen to persons with diabetic neuropathy? One of the biggest concerns is that if you have less feeling in your feet, that means it's harder to know if something has gone wrong. This could be something small, like a scrape or a bruise, or something bigger, like a cut or an ulcer. If you don't feel the pain from damage to your foot, it can make it hard to take care of it, leading to infection, or worse, like amputation. So, if you have signs of diabetic neuropathy, what can you do about it? A lot of research has gone into answering this question, and the answer is probably not a surprise. Taking care of your body is the best way of managing your symptoms. This means paying attention to your blood sugar levels and eating right. Also, take care of your feet. More on that in another slideshow. But know that following foot care guidelines can help prevent injury to your feet, and preventing an injury is easier than treating them. Lastly, involve other people. This includes your doctor, your podiatrist, your family, and friends. Diabetic neuropathy is not something that should be faced alone, so learn about it for yourself. Seek help from others and take charge of your care. Know that you can take steps to reduce your symptoms. That's all for this presentation. I'd like to thank you for watching and encourage you to keep learning about what you can do to manage diabetic neuropathy.